almost 20k paper obtained. Biggest opening of this yet. And I get usual presents. Nothing special this time either. Daily present is always a blue one. Let's see. Can I get something from these ones? Let's open purple first and see. Maybe I'm lucky. Oh, what's this? A little bird? <laughs> Looks kinda nice. But I'm not into cosmetics that much. Let's just spam through these ones. I bet it's just another no die opening. I get so many oddments and they're literally useless to me. Because I have bought everything from the shop and they removed so many cosmetics and put them into Yak Store instead. And yeah, no luck this time either. I will have to collect even more paper for bigger opening, I guess. I did so much smithing this past week. It's not even fun anymore. Gloves and boots are best ones for FK for sure. With helm is kinda nice, but with legs and plate bodies, oh, it took so long to make them to plus four. At least I can FK this on my mobile. Still have almost 5k banite bars and 2k elder rune bars. It's gonna be nice experience for sure. Almost done with 28 sets of Banite armor, plus 4. Not sure how much experience I gonna get, but I hope it's gonna be a lot. Because I have everything unlocked in reward shop. So I hope all these boosts are gonna add up to a nice chunk of experience. Let's see. So this merchant offers me only lamp. <laughs> and it's gonna go on smithing for sure. I want uh, to be done with it as soon as possible. I totally forgot I was so close to 100 million mining experience. Banite ores are so chill to mine. I hope I have enough Banite stone spirits till 120 mining. Then I will decide if I need to mine it more for 120 smithing. That's the biggest concern for me, if I have enough for it. It's again time of the day. When I check what's inside this beautiful chest, in hopes I can see another bow piece here. First kill down, just some black stone arrow tips. Let's move on. Another track it down for some onyx dust, thank you. Hey big boy, maybe today is the day when I finally get my crossbow piece. What? Oh my god, I finally got it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Two out of three, missing only one more piece for full crossbow. Oh, it's a big relief. I finally got a piece. That's so nice. Did I got it doubled? Oh, no, it's one piece. It's still very good. I don't think I'm going for two crossbows anyway. At least for now. Oh, I would be very happy if I can complete my first one. On my second run of the day for some onyx dust again. Another one? Oh, <laughs> almost died. Hydrix ball tips, nice. I guess I'm asking way too much, but can I get the back to back please? Uh, no, no. Still, I'm very happy. I finally got a crossbow piece. I hope I will not need to kill another 80 for my last piece. It would be not funny at all. I'll see you soon, MB. Prepare your last crowbow piece. Thank you. Finally made all of my Bennett armor to plus 4. With base experience I should get around 2 million smithing experience. But with all of the boosts I have it should be way more than that. I still have 4k Bennett bars and over 2k Elder Rune bars left. So I think with my daily 212,000 smithing experience and this and oh. I have smithing brawling gloves too, so I think I'll be short of 120, but close. Oh, it's been a while. I'm kinda rested, but it's not a hard boss. First kill I get, oh, a leg piece? What? Seriously? What's with my luck today? How about back to back drops, huh? I hate this pet rotation. I already have two top legs, and I'm doing middle now. And it's AIDS, literally. Maybe I can get that fang and be done with this boss. 
I had two fang drops in total, but I had those before log update. So it's showing that I don't have it, even though I'm killing it with it right now. It's the only item I need to finish this log and never come back. I should really consider log hunting. I have so many logs where I'm missing only one or two items. It just it takes a lot of time and I don't have it. So I have to balance it somehow. And for the last drop, let's take a look. What this little spider offers? Oh, some stone spirit drop. At least I got brews. Those are always nice. I am up to 1284 KC for this boss. And you can see I'm only missing a fang drop. Maybe someday. I wish I would uh, be able to do this method till 120 smithing. Without brawling gloves, it gives around 475 smithing experience, but having brawling gloves and power boost of master stroke, it spikes up to 17,000 experience per swing. It's usually either 15k or 17k experience drops. Worst part about this is that it has a cooldown. After using a power boost potion, it gives you 4 swings with insane experience, and then you need to wait 2 minutes if you want to drink another dose. So instead of waiting and doing nothing, I took my trusty pickaxe and it's just gonna mine some banite ore meanwhile. It's a tedious way of doing smithing, but as Iron Man I need to collect every resource I want to use for training skills. So using this I'm saving so much of my own time. New Wilderness Street system isn't helping me here either. You get attacked randomly. Good thing is that you're not wearing any combat gear, so treat level uh, goes up very slow. Doing this method with 2 minute breaks is more than 2 million experience per hour. If you would able to use it non-stop, it should be around 8 million experience per hour. Oh boy, I wish we could use that. Just 7 hours and I'm 120 smithing. Sadly, it's just a dream. I will get it to 120 for sure. It goes so fast. 114 smithing already. 6 more levels to go. I almost forgot to do my daily run. I was so hyped about crossbow piece that I totally forgot to do it. And talking about ambassador, I got it for reaper task. I'm not sure if I will have time to do 4 full runs. At least I will try to do them. If not, I will have to cancel them and do another task because it takes way too long for me. I used to do a long daily run, about 30 minutes every day. Sometimes it feels like a chore that you need to do every day and it becomes not fun at all. So for the past 2-3 weeks I'm only doing smithing dailies, this wax, Gorayo dungeon and Edimu resource dungeon. Sometimes I only do smithing dailies and that's it. It's either I'm too tired to even launch the game, or I just want to chill and relax, edit a video, watch a movie or something. Maybe that's why I have so many 120s that you can heavily AFK, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when I'm gonna run out of skills to AFK. At least I know it's not gonna be soon. I really want to come back to PVM, maybe after new year I will have some time to do more PVM than usual. We will see about that. So for now, I think it's gonna be it. Thank you guys for listening to my rambles. It was a very nice day of Ambassador and Erexor. So if you like what you see, don't be shy. Press that little like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I hope I see you soon. See ya!